hi there vlog it's half term and we're on school holidays for a week so we've come down to Suffolk to stay with my sister for a few days we are exploring Norfolk and today we've come to Wiccan Fen as well which is absolutely gorgeous it's a national trust place and there's all these gorgeous boardwalks that walk through the countryside and there's reed beds and marshes and all sorts of wildlife absolutely love it it's totally chilled out just what we need so here's a few clips from our time in Suffolk hope you enjoy them and then it'll be back to the studio for an update on what I'm doing next Sheffield after an amazing half term. I'd like to say that I got straight back to work but I didn't. I had a migraine when I got back to Sheffield and it knocked me out for a couple of days. So it's now a Friday morning and I am coming down to the studio to get my paintings. I've decided that I'm gonna have the box canvases framed up. I think they're gonna look so much nicer in one of those tray frames like I had the other work done. So I'm gonna take, I've got three pieces to take with me. Uh, so that's on the agenda this morning. Got a really busy day actually. I'm then gonna come back and finish off my uh, art letters, which is the email I send out to my mailing list subscribers. Crikey, I'm out of breath, I wanna come down the garden. <laughs> that run I did this morning. And then I've got some painting to start doing. I've been working on some ideas in my sketchbook, uh, doing some little color studies. I'll show you those in a little while and um, I think I'd like to translate those into a painting so I'm excited to see where that will lead but now I've got to get my backside into gear get down to Sheffield get these pictures into the frame shop and ready to get on the website by the end of the month so I'm gonna crack on and I'll catch up with you in a little while weather's turned awful it's all rainy and cold now come on June sort it out <laughs> should be nice and warm by now surely so I've literally just got back from the frame shop I've dropped my three paintings off and they said they'll be ready in a couple of weeks which is great news so I'll be putting those up for preview uh, to my mailing list subscribers when I get them back which is what I like to do with my originals um, but for now I am going to spend a bit of time in my sketchbook uh, working on these colour studies again. Um, I was going to launch straight into a painting this afternoon but I've changed my mind. I want to explore these colours a little bit further. So let me, let me give you a peek of what I've been doing. So I've been experimenting with watercolour paints. 
and a Posca pen, a wide Posca pen, which I'll show you in just a minute. And basically what I did was just flood a circle with colour. Let's just show you the next page. And while it was still wet, I pulled in another colour. These have dried overnight and they look absolutely amazing. Almost like little planets, I think. I really like them. So I've started to add a little bit of detail here with the Posca pen on this one. And I'm just really loving how these are coming out so i think i'm gonna explore these for a little while longer before committing to an actual piece now i would love to be one of those artists and i know i've said this before who keeps a sketchbook on the daily and i'm sadly not i would love to be that disciplined but i'm not however sometimes i do feel drawn towards experimenting in a sketchbook and this week i have spent a little bit of time creating these colour studies that I've just shown you and I really really like the feel of them and it is getting me to think about creating some work on paper using watercolour instead of the acrylic pieces that I've been working on before. So these leads need following, you know, they all take you somewhere, especially when you get that feeling of excitement from it and joy and you know this feels like it's lighting me up I need to explore this further that's definitely when you need to chase that feeling and see where it takes you so it's not about having an end goal in sight for the painting it's not about deciding what it's even going to look like it's about having a direction okay so pick up on these little clues and tips as you're experimenting with your painting you know does it feel good when you paint in a certain way or use a certain color or a certain medium for example i'm moving into watercolor now i'm gonna see where that takes me because at the moment that feels really positive really joyful and really good so be aware create an awareness of how it feels when you're in this position of creating something new or moving towards creating a new piece of work for yourself. So I'm gonna get my palette out and I'm gonna mix some colors and I am gonna spend a little bit of time exploring these puddles of glorious color. So just before I start working on these little planets and adding a bit of detailing, I just wanted to share with you the pen that I'm using and it's this Posca pen here. It's a white paint marker and it has a bullet nib it's quite fine let's just have a check it says 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter so yeah that's quite quite small and, and good for detailed work i picked up a pack of three from amazon for about four pounds something so again relatively cheap quite affordable and they, it makes such a difference when you're adding detail to things like this rather than faffing about with white paint which can be a bit fiddly and sometimes dries a little bit yellowish or translucent and doesn't really give the effect that you're after the coverage on these are really good too so well worth investing in one right i don't know if you can hear the rain it is now torrentially raining as i sit here so i'm going to press on and add some detail to these little planets and you can watch and see what happens next really happy with how they've turned out I would wholeheartedly encourage you to have a go yourself if you want to try this at home it doesn't matter what materials you're using it could be crayon felt pens it doesn't have to be watercolor it doesn't have to be the Posca markers ordinary markers will do you know maybe try a darker colored marker or a fine liner or even a biro whatever you've got okay you don't have to spend a fortune just to have fun and experiment but do have a go and see where it leads you. See how your art makes you feel when you practice in this way. 
what I'm finding out more and more as I move away from creating set commission pieces and work for publishers and things like that, things that have to be designed to a specific brief, is that when you're creating stuff that lights you up, that feels fun, it has an acute difference in the way that it turns out. Even in just the general playful nature of experimenting in a sketchbook. It is so different. That's not to say I didn't enjoy the work that I did before. It was always a pleasure and an absolute privilege to work on commissions and, and do things like briefs for publishing companies and things like that. But I am just pointing out there is a difference. I think it's important to share that with you. I can't hide away from the fact that this work has made a profound difference to how I feel about creating and making art. So give it a go. What's stopping you? <laughs>